We have, in a way, in, in the song To the Moon, all the key ingredients uh, of the piece. Um, we have the element of the water, where Ruzalka is at home. We have the, a, a key element of her expression. And as a third element, we have sort of the, um, the drama, in a way, that will happen, that then unfolds by leaving the underwater world, the world of the supernatural, the world of the nymphs, the world, the world of the water spirits, to go to the human beings and what then um, happens. We are literally far away from reality. We are in this kind of fairy tale uh, world, and we are also, in terms of Rosalka's state of mind and emotions, we are far away. And she is actually far away from her own water worlds because she's expressing um, that she's in love with this human creature. So clearly, the beginning, the first part of that song is what I call before the thoughtful element. Uh, And so on and so forth. Then we get to a second part, which I would describe as more exuberant, more full of desire, of longing, um, and so on. I think desire is the, the key word. Um, before we had just the strings with a few um, woodwinds here and there answering Rusalka's uh, vocal line, and now we have a few more instruments. The harp again, very prominently, the trumpet following or shadowing Rusalka's Ruzal melody in this more exuberant passage. <laughs> And that continues, and it's getting even more so emphatic. And she's pleading that the moon the moon should stay with her for a moment and should let her know where her beloved is. Uh, so the, the moon, in a way, becomes her, her ally, which is an incredibly beautiful image, I would say. This is the end of the first verse. There are two verses. And we hear, with those diminished chords played by the horns, that her, 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 her anger, her fear, her agitation, um, something is not, is not good, something is rotten in the state of Denmark, so to speak. Um, the harp again, which is her instrument, here uh, far more um, agitated and, and, and impulsive um, than this beautiful sort of... flat major seventh uh, beginning that so mysteriously but elegantly introduces Rusalka into that uh, to that moment